Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Friday afternoon, and thank you for watching this clip on line integral in three dimension. So let's get started here. We're giving a curve in three dimensional space and a function over here, and we're asking to calculate the line integral, the function along this path. The way we do this one is line integral over here in three dimension is equal to function itself times this look like arc length dx dt squared plus dy dt squared plus dz dt squared. Okay, so let's calculate each part separately. Of course, this part, let's put it on the side. dx dt, that's easy, that's one. dy dt here, we have three. Uh, t squared taken derivative, which is equal to 6t. Okay, dz dt is going to be 18t squared. Okay, so therefore, um, the dx dt is a little tedious to write, but for the sickness of for the sake of complete, um, let's just go through the trouble of writing everything down. So you have one plus 6t squared, let's put a radical sign on it because we're going to be taking radical sign anyhow. 18t squared, the whole thing squared. Now hopefully you, we're lucky here that we have a complete square actually. Uh, this part is 36t squared, so as you can see it's 2ab, so it's 1 plus t squared, the whole thing squared. And taking a radical root away are set free in that it's 1 plus 18t squared. Phew, that was a lot of work. Okay, so now let's do the easier part. Let's substitute it back in there. So we have dt from 0 to 1. Okay, let's see what we have. f is equal to x times y times z squared. So x is t times y, which is 3t squared, times z squared, which is 36t to the Six. Okay, now back over here. Let's just make sure we followed everything. X is here. Um, now, actually, what I wanted to do is here. Here's what I was wanted. To do. Z squared is equal to six t three times six t three is thirty six, and t three plus three. Make sure you have this one as a plus three. Otherwise, the answer is going to come off really weird. Okay, so it's thirty six t to the 6. All right, let's combine all that. And then this one, we have 1 plus 18 t squared. All right, let's do one more simplification here before we split it up. This whole thing here, we have 108 t to the 9th. Okay, that's the first part. It's 108 t to the 9th. I'm going to multiply to this one. Add 0 to 1 dt, 108t to the 9th times 18 times t squared. Oh, it's a lot of stuff to write, but we're almost there. This part is pre pretty easy because there's a 0 to 1. So basically, we're going to have 108t to the 10 divided by 10. That's how we integrate 0 to 1. And when we evaluate the lower limit, it's just going to be 0 to make life a little easier for us. On this side, we have 108 times 18. Let's say t to the 11 inside the integral. So when I come out, I would have t to the 12 divided by 12, 0 to 1. Wow, almost there. 108 divided by 10. That's all I have because second part is 0. Plus 12, 108. Let's see, 18, and that's uh, all the things we have. Simplify over here a little bit, and we have a 5, 54 over here, and this one cancels, I believe it's a 9. Okay. So 162, and our final answer here is going to be 5, 864. I think the quick review, well actually let's have a quick math break. 
feeling gooey today. All right, back to math. Okay, so Lie Integral says, um, write it into the arc length form. I would always recommend my students put this work on the side because whoever is grading the paper for you, whoever you want, actually want the points from, you want to make sure they can follow your work. And even if you make some mistake here, hopefully you get some partial credit. I mean, the point is to show what you know. There's no point in making it so messy and no one else can follow it. And the second thing is once you put it in here, there's a lot of computation here. Sometimes I tell my students, here's a trick you might not know. On the test, I would write this step and then give a final answer. I'm hoping that somewhere I make the mistake, teacher will take a pity on me. Um, even though I didn't put all the work in between, I had to set it up right and I gave a final arithmetic or numer numerical answer. Maybe the teacher will assume I just missed something in the middle. Okay, this is just a field experience, I guess, over the years I learned that trick. Um, hopefully this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if this has been useful. Until next time, have a confident day.